Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Boozer here. In today's video, I want to go over some free to play accessible options to deal with Scare Boss Hard 100. So, for this rotation, Scare Boss is actually Spirit Affinity. Um, so, the team comps that I'll be showing you guys will only work on this Spirit uh, Affinity uh, Scare Boss. On the other rotation, he is Force Affinity, so you have to find another option. Um, but in this video, I'll go over the Hard 100 Spirit Boss. Uh, affinity team that I used to use uh, until I found some better options but I want to make these kind of videos just to help people out still progressing through Doom Tower um, I hope these guys I hope these videos will be helpful for some of you guys so let's jump right into it all right so this is the team I put together here so the showcase for this video is actually Taragi the Frog he's an epic champion if you guys have him he can solo this boss um, with relatively um, moderate uh, gear so I think it's perfect if you're just tackling floor 100. You should be able to put the pieces together for him uh, for this build. And like I said, it works against the Spirit Affinity Floor 100 Scarab King. The other Scarab King Force Affinity, obviously Taragi would not work. The other champions in this team are not necessary. They're basically here just to clear the waves. Um, the important part is the lead champion where you want uh, whatever aura you're missing stats on. So in this build, I'm missing a little bit of speed. So I put the speed aura uh, Razzlevarg here. So in other places, you could have accuracy, for example, or HP, for example. But let's start the run, and I'll talk through the run here. Okay. So this is the team. So like I said, Taragi is going to be the star of the show, but he has to get to the boss first. So the rest of the team is just here just to pump out some damage. I didn't want to get into anything too specific um, just because I want to keep it kind of generic. But like I said, any um, AOE damage dealer would be able to help here. Um, there are, um, you know, obviously some things you want to consider, like the aura, like I mentioned. So here we go. We're going to go to the boss. Basically, your whole team's going to die here, and it's going to be the Taragi show. And the thing about Taragi that works really well is that he has a passive that places poisons when he's hit. And the way it works is that he needs accuracy on that, obviously. Um, but every time he gets hit, you can see he's lining the poisons. Um, he has a self heal and he's a self shield, which is really, really nice. And his A1 places attack down, which is also really nice at keeping himself alive. So, for this build to work, he has to have his A3, which is his self heal, available to himself. So, you definitely want him to be able to place that. And he also needs regeneration gear minimum. So you'll see the build that I have on him is actually probably the bare minimum um, that you want on him. Uh, I tested out a couple builds and a couple speeds, um, trying to lower the gear requirement on, on him as much as possible so you guys know what to expect. Um, but I found that the build I have on him right now is probably the lowest you want to go. You can see he's kind of low on some of those hits, but he makes it through. Um, and then you can kind of see it. It's, it feels pretty safe sometimes, but uh, obviously when the weak hits don't go your way um, Or if you get the, the slow speed applied to you then nothing you can do about that So for this particular build he actually has resistance enough resistance to resist the uh, Scarab King uh, But he but he still gets debuffed once in a while So it's not going to be like a full hundred percent on resisting his debuffs because obviously you can't He's probably about 95% um, to resist debuffs or his buffs getting stripped. But you will see in this fight that he does get stripped, I believe, once. Which is a little bit unlucky. But getting stripped is not the end of the world. And then you see his debuffs are some debuffs are being applied to him. They are not the end of the world. The slow speed is probably the worst one. Because like I said, you need the speed to survive. Because the speed helps you heal. And helps you place your uh, your um, your your big self heal. You heal off your gear and you heal off your skill. Um, so he's kind of like a similar Urost. So Urost is a legendary champion you earn from defeating the secret rooms from Doom Tower, Hard Doom Tower. So once you get Urost, this is basically a walk in the park because Urost just beats the Scarab King no problem, and Urost is Void Affinity. So that's basically what I. Um, what I remove my Taragi for in the end, I use Euros. Um, and Euros is like 
I would say Uros is even better than Taragi because, like I said, he's Void Affinity, so he works on both Scarab, Scarab Kings. Um, and he doesn't necessarily need that much, um, I guess, healing. <laughs> he doesn't even need, like, like, the one that I was using for a long time, he didn't have Masteries. Like, it was just, you know, it was just like the bare bones Uros. Like, if you put Masteries on Uros, then you're going to be doing more, you know, faster runs. But you can still do it without masteries or books. But for Taragi, you're gonna see that he does take masteries and he does need books because the books enable him to have cooldown on his shield and heal move. And then obviously the masteries will also keep him a little bit more safe with his um, boosted shield, boosted heals, as well as speed up the run a little bit with War Master and uh, poison extensions, of course. So we'll go over that when this run ends. Uh, looks like it's going pretty good now was a bit hairy in the beginning but we'll jump in and uh, we'll take a look at his build it works very smooth right now and I'll show you guys the builds okay almost there all right there you go so we got a four you know four and a half minutes for basically a solo if you guys are farming um, Scarab King um, on this rotation, it's probably not advised because it's the Dark Fae rotation. So you probably only want to beat the Scarab King once. Uh, if you don't have a Euros, Taragi is a great uh, substitute for this. I used Taragi in the beginning uh, to deal with uh, to deal with the Scarab King before I got Euros. So let's go over his build real quick. All right, so here he is. Um, actually, he had one glove, an HP HP glove on him. So let me swap that in. All right, sorry about that. So yeah, I did swap a, a glove from um, Ninja uh, on him. But here's his total build. He's in uh, Regeneration only, no Regeneration Immortal. Um, regeneration Immortal would definitely help. So if you saw from the fight, he would get an extra probably like 3,000 HP. I think it would make it a lot more safer. So definitely look into Regeneration Immortal if you can swing it. But I wanted to do like a pretty bare minimum build here. Like I didn't even max out his chest for the resistance, but um, so total speeds here, 226, 73k HP. I have enough resistance. You probably want at least 350, 360 resistance to have a decent chance. You saw that we were getting debuffed and stripped once in a while with 377. Uh, 330 accuracy is enough. It's about borderline, uh, but it is enough. You saw that the poisons were being placed. 226, I think, is probably roughly the speed that you want maybe 220 maybe 215 um, with the mastery help uh, i tried under 200 i tried 190 185 um, the speed was not enough uh, you definitely need some speed to cycle through your abilities and to heal from regeneration um, for example i had uh, 185 speed with like 100k hp and then it wasn't enough so you definitely need speed over hp pool uh, resistance you don't need resistance but it helps keeps the run a little bit more smooth a little bit more consistent if you can't swing the resistance but you can do good speed and good hp i would probably still run the run and then you know maybe run it a couple times and it'll probably work in the end um, but yeah the resistance made it a little bit more smooth uh fully booked uh fully booked yeah if you have a blessing then you probably would take maybe maybe phantom touch for some extra damage on your hits um, cruelty doesn't really help too much, but you are running War Master with this guy, so maybe Cruelty might help. But Phantom Touch seems okay for extra damage. Um, so Mastery is here. I have him down to War Master, uh, just for extra hits on his A1. Uh, Life Drinker, just in case he gets some, you know, gets kind of low, you get a little bit extra heal once in a while. And then basically focus on the support tree. So for the support tree, I went with HP, uh, extra shields extra heals extra uh, shield and heals extra chance at more shield and healing this is extra chance at more shield and healing as well extra stats extra duration of his poisons and then extra speed from your team dying so extra speed from your team dying is actually very useful um, you could take yeah you could take extra duration of poison or extra chance of poison I think because you're hitting getting hit so much you don't need the extra chance and then having extra duration is probably better so that's kind of like my two cents there. But the mastery is definitely help him, especially uh, speed up the run a bit. So yeah, um, the rest of the team, it doesn't matter. You're just putting in a couple nukers and having the correct aura for whatever stat you need. 
Uh, like I said, you probably want him coming in with about 250 speed, which is this, I believe, the speed of the Scarab. Um, so, like Razzle Varg's uh, aura, 20% aura with his base speed of uh, 226, so 246, close enough to 250. And then he gets the boost from the Spirit Haste, so over 250, so he can match the Scarab for speed at least. Uh, like I said, you need the speed to cycle through his regeneration and then his uh, shield ability. Um, but yeah, I think these stats are like, they're obtainable, but obviously they're still, you know, late game stats. We're doing 100 hard Doom Tower here, so definitely need some stats. Um, and But he does it very consistently, and he's an epic, so it's going to be easy to book, easy to get for the most part. Um, and he's a good champion, so you're not going to be too upset about investing in him. Uh, he can carry you through faction wars very easily, especially with a build like this. Uh, he has a great taunt ability, um, a, a great taunt for crowd control and such. Um, if you want to speed up the run, make sure you turn this off for the boss fight. You don't need this. It's not going to work on him. So you just want the shields and you just want the A1s against the boss. Alright guys? Alright. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys are stuck, appreciate your time as always. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys use for Scarab King. It's a bit of a pain in the ass boss if you don't have any champs. So hopefully, um, you know, this brought to light a champion that you guys might be able to use. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks, thanks a lot again. And I'll see you guys in the next video.